All right, welcome to the follow-up DEXA scan report breakdown. Thank you for coming in for a follow-up scan and we're super excited to go over these results with you. If you have any questions, jump into the pri private Facebook group, Apex PWR, and ask away. Ideally, you ask a question that not only helps you, but also helps someone else else better understand their report too. So first and foremost, we're going to go over, um, you know, this is six pages and this report, we're, we're going to focus really on, you know, page two and then pages four, five, and six, but there are also some most important things on the first page. So the first page, uh, no matter how many scans you've done, I eliminated like 12 of this person's uh, middle scan. So you have, we have the first scan and then the most recent scan. This is obviously done back in 2018 and uh, some phenomenal results. So the bottom line here is, is your initial scan. And then above that is every subsequent scan. So you can see that this person went from 29 to 14.3%. That's a phenomenal um, decrease in 16 months. Total mass went down 45 pounds in 16 months. I'm going to actually stop highlighting their results, but I'm going to go over what you can be looking at for yours. So we look at total body fat change from initial and onward, and then total mass, fat tissue, and lean tissue. So ideally, fat tissue has gone down and, and is trending downward and staying um, consistent over, the, over time, so you've reached your goals. We want to see a downward trend and then a level off. Lean tissue, we actually only want to see a level off or an upward trend. We don't ever want to see muscle mass go down. The next thing we look at is on page two, about halfway down, is the fat distribution report. Uh, you can see here that he went down by 0.32. This means that his, his android decreased and got down below the percentage of his gynoid, which we see here is very close, 14.8 and 15.1. But now that makes his AG ratio less than one, which is ideal. Um, you know, a stretch goal for you could be to get this down to 0.8. That's an optimal range to have much less body fat in your stomach than you do in your gynoid. That's going to be good for long-term health. So this is the most important number on the scan. We went over this on the first test that you did. Now we can see a total change. And we'll have a trend on the last page as well, which is great to see. The total change is highlighted either a positive or a negative number right below where your current amount is. So this person went down all, uh, two pounds, 2.11 pounds since their last test or since, sorry, since their first test. And that's amazing because this is a, this is a um, result of amazing lifestyle changes, positive health um, consequences as a result of that. So we want, you know, a lot of times we talk about negative health consequences. Well, we're looking for positive health consequences and results of lifestyle change, nutrition, healthy and positive um, habits, as well as, you know, weight training or any other thing that you're doing to, to reach your goal. Here we can look at the muscular imbalance again. This isn't a comparison to last time. This is just where you're currently at. A negative number means the left side is bigger and a positive number means the right side is bigger. So we just want to try to level off imbalances over time in the right and left part of the body. Z-score, again, it's not a comparison. It's just where you're currently at. This person is at 5.2, far off of uh, in the 99th percentile. Now we have fat trends. So you can see all the different data points that they did over the last year, over the year and a half that they were doing tests. And we see that every single one is a negative health trend or a negative trend, which is super awesome to see. And, you know, they made changes throughout the whole time to make sure that they were making positive results. So negative trend that levels off is what we're looking for with body fat. And that's the typical goal of all of our clients that come in is to lose body fat. And we try to reframe that by let's not lose weight, let's lose body fat. So if we look here, body fat goes down. But if we look at the muscle mass trends and those go down as well, that means, you know, we're losing weight in the, in the wrong places. We're losing weight in the muscle mass. So here we get to look at the muscle mass trends and we can see that for the most part, these are pretty level. If you look from beginning to end, beginning to end, beginning to end, we see an increase there, decrease here. So this is a good place to look at trends in muscle mass. 
And finally, what I think is my favorite page is the two most important numbers on this test are the body fat percentage and the visceral fat trend. So what we see here is that overall, these are the trends that are going to tell us the most about our overall health. What I think is a cool part of this test is that this person had an uptick in body fat percent from one test to the next. And then after that, you can see they've made really positive changes and stayed consistent over time. So the things we want to see with body fat percentage is a downward trend that levels off once you reach your goals. Here again, downward trend starting to level off. Another goal for this person could be to get below one pound somewhere down here. Um, and if they, you know, if they follow what they're doing here in the middle part and towards the end of their um, report, they're going to likely hit their goals because they've found something that's really working for them. So just remember, it's always an experiment with your own body to find out what works best for you. If you have questions on those kind of things and like what might work best for you, we have tons of experience with thousands of clients over the last five to seven years that have gotten positive results from this. And we've seen a lot of people that, you know, we, we've taken um, input from that doesn't work and didn't work best for them. So again, if you have any questions, just reach out to us via email or the private Facebook group. That's Apex PWR. It's a private group on Facebook. Just ask to join and we'll let you in. Again, if you have some goals, find some numbers you can track, set up a DEXA scan in the future, 60 to 90 days from now. If you have reached your goals, it's ideal that you do one a year, you know, check in, see where your body's at, make sure that there's no negative health trends occurring so that we can make sure that we stay on top of your health and wellness.